Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. Alright, let's check it out. Let's see what we got for you right now. If you think you're watching a movie about a rich guy hopping in their limousine, nope, you're not in the right channel, but you probably are in the right car model. <laughs> What we got for you right now in front of us, it's a 143 scale 2000 Lincoln Town Car. The famous Lincoln model that we see in a lot of movies out there that the rich folk is hopping in their car with their driver. This is the one. Yep. Usually these town cars, they were very famous because a lot of chauffeurs used to drive them. If there's a lot of cities in North America, example, that these were the cars to use as a limousine, which was the number one car for limousines, especially like big cities like New York City. If you go to New York City, that's the car that a lot of back in the early 2000s, in the mid 2000s this was the model that almost every chauffeur used to drive their their um ceo from the company or you this this car was a lot used in taxi not in those yellow taxis that we remember but they're also called black car taxi those black cars that there were also taxis used by a lot they used to use them a lot in New York City, and I'm sure in other big cities like Chicago, Los Angeles, Miami, Houston, and other Philadelphia, I'm sure they use these models too. But let me tell you something about this car. This car is not just remembered as a car used to be uh, driven by uh, chauffeurs around the cities and stuff. This car is also remembered by having one of the best engines of all time. This is known by a lot of people here, in example, in North America. This car had the 4.6 Ford engine that used to last hundreds of miles. There's some Lincoln Town cars out there that have over 500,000 miles on it. They were super super reliable especially for this era the okay by the way so you know the era generations the Lincoln Town Car it was sold between 1981 till 2011 this is the third generation this is the last one before they refreshed the model this was the generation that ran between 1998 and 2011 by the way, the one that you're looking at right now is the is the from that generation. It was a pre uh, refreshed, which is the 1998 till 2002, and then from 2002 till 2011, it had a refreshed model. But these models right here, they were super reliable. You still see them on the roads. Some of them a bit beat up, but they are there a lot of older folks used to love driving these cars because they were super comfortable they were um you know they're reliable and you know the bigger the better that's the the idea that a lot of uh especially in usa and canada they have of cars the bigger the more comfortable the more reliable the more secure yeah, that's the the motto here. They want, they feel more secure in a bigger car. And you know, remember a lot of the older folks, they used to drive in these cars back in the 60s and 50s. They were land yachts. So this Lincoln Town Car was one of the last land yachts around. This one, the Cadillac, the Ford, Crown Victoria. They were one of the last land yachts still around, or at least in pre getting close to being land yacht because they were longer and bigger and comfortable all right guys so i'm gonna let it go around a few times and i'll be right back
All right, guys. So, by the way, before I forget, this car comes from a group of models. They came out from a Mexican. It was a group of uh, diecast models representing the Mexican history of cars that were sold in Mexico. But obviously, this Lincoln Town car, it was a staple for the North American market. Everyone remember them. They were very loved and quite quite still remember as a great engine vehicle super reliable and well respected i will say well respected and that was a bit hard to achieve lately with ford because lincoln is part of the ford market ford um ford is the owner of lincoln so it was quite hard to get this type of uh, achievement from a ford product all right guys don't don't forget to give me that beautiful thumbs up that I always appreciate. Thank you so much for following me, following my videos. Thank you for those beautiful comments that you guys gave me. Don't forget to comment below what you guys think about this model. Were they sold in your country? Do you remember seeing them? Did you like the style? Did you find them too hideous or too uh, out of your comfort zone for a car? You know, it really depends on the market and depends on the person. Some markets do not like these big cars. Some markets love them. It really, really depends where you are uh, used to driving. All right. So take care of yourselves more than ever. And goodbye.